hello welcome back to another video i feel like i'm always starting my videos in the car these days um but i keep leaving my camera in my car so it's just the most convenient thing um today is wednesday july 19th and i am pulling up to massage envy right now david made me a prenatal massage appointment this morning and i am so excited it's a 90 minute massage i had a pilates class this morning and then came back cleaned the entire little house made david and i lunch and then i took a very long shower where i exfoliated and shaved and washed my hair and got like fully ready for this massage i have mostly used my massage and be membership for facials so i haven't gotten a massage in probably a year and a half could be longer so i'm very much looking forward to this and i'm feeling like all nice and clean and fresh i'm gonna feel even better after this how i will make it through without going to the bathroom i'm not sure i'll have to let them know because my bladder is has a little pressure on it anyway but i wanted to go ahead and just get another vlog started i think i have some updates for you guys but i don't remember i'll have to do that after the massage but i'll let y'all know how this goes um i'm here a little bit early because i have to fill out paperwork and stuff i'm so excited so welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are doing well and let's go get a massage Oh, then 110? Yeah, I'd rather do this 100 times than doing that once. That I know, is so this is great. so much better. It's wild like, <clears throat> how much it cools everything down. Yeah, so nice. Brought my thumbs with me. And dessert. <sighs> um, so I haven't, or I haven't talked to you guys since my massage earlier. The massage was good. Uh, my body definitely feels like looser and I was actually, after the appointment like pretty tired and like took a nap i think just because everything was like loosened all the knots were like rubbed out of my body so that felt nice but it wasn't necessarily relaxing he was great but sometimes you just want to like lay there and be able to like sleep sleep or doze <laughs> off or just like not yeah. talk yes. and he wanted to talk he wanted to talk <clears throat> so that's okay Sometimes like I'm in the mood for that, but this one I was like it was in the afternoon It was around three o'clock and I've told y'all three o'clock is like where I get really tired <laughs> I definitely needed a massage. I have a lot of I had a lot of knots to work out, but we just got done having blaze pizza It was so good. We're over in Farmington at Station Park, which I told you guys I can actually see my Pilates studio from here and um, It's super close to where the townhouse is gonna be where the townhouse is already there. It's we're gonna be there. <laughs> the townhouse is already there. We're <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be there. The townhouse is <laughs> already established. This place has like everything that we're interested in. And you guys, it's like so good. Typically, I'm sure y'all will see many vlogs of us over here because there's everything that we need. It's almost nine. The sun does not fully go down here until like almost ten o'clock. If it wasn't raining right now, it'd be like sunset. Anyway, just having my tums. For Whoa, dessert. It's nine o'clock. What the heck? I just said that three times. I know. I just registered. I just <laughs> like it. Literally feels like because of the rain, and because it's so like this. You can see that the sky's bright. That's like seven-ish or something. It was like it's yeah, like six thirty or seven. It's crazy. Um, these are my new best friend. I had to bring them with us because we're having pizza. <laughs> I eat about twelve of these in a day. She loves it. She just loves it. You know, I don't think you're supposed to have that many, but there's nothing I can do. A banana will give me heartburn. A Lara bar, like clean little snack bar, will give me heartburn. Peanut butter gives me heartburn, so that's where we're at. That's where we're at. 
My skin's looking good in this. Your skin's looking good too. David's also been doing my skincare routine. Yeah, I won't and lie. I've been doing it. My skin looks. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> I'm not going to. I've been doing it. Looks I've been good. putting snail stuff and <laughs> <laughs> slugs and stuff. Yeah, just snails. But you can definitely see a slime. difference, right? Yeah. You have no acne right now. Yeah, and it just feels like <clears throat> I actually really like. Probably my favorite part is the ice I know. on my face in the morning and like it feels good because then when I go put like moisturizer well all the stuff on right after mm -hmm. I can feel my skin feels like more like tight and just like feels so know, good it's good and then also even more importantly than that I think it's like the best like I, w I wake up so well with that I don't even need the caffeine the to wake up yeah, yeah if you or, like, <clears throat> help wake me up it's just like an instant want to depuff in the morning or just like feel refreshed in the morning get yourself like a cold face pack it feels so good it feels amazing it like wakes you up and then you're like ready to get started so we've been starting our mornings like that every day and it's really nice yeah especially just like on the eyes and like the like cheeks it just like wakes you up the it's ice like on the face wakes you up so well and i actually just read an article recently about they were there was like a some I don't know, some study or something like that. Or it, maybe it wasn't even very scientific. I can't remember. But basically they were recommending <clears throat> instead of having some like kind of cold exposure. Caffeine in the afternoon to help wake you up to like put your head in a freezer for a, <laughs> like a minute. And they were like and I remember because at the end of the article it was like so you might feel good like not having that caffeine crash at like later on in the afternoon. But you'll have to explain to your coworkers while you're oh, your shoving head your head in the freezer. Just give me a second. <laughs> just throw your head in there. But instead of doing that, the ice on the face is like genius. If yeah. You need to like wake up for something. It feels so good. Just drop it with an ice pack. If you got drop a little mini fridge pack. at work, put an ice pack in there. Anyway, that's the update. Um, we are gonna go home now that we are both showered oh. and fed and very full. Good. My hair looks fully like brunette right now. So we have brown hair. I just made myself a hair appointment um, for a place in Bountiful called Blondie Co. So I figured they probably know how to do their blonde. Um, it's only because I have this pulled back because I only do partial color. And I didn't go as light this last time when I got my hair done. So I have an appointment for the 24th. And I'm going to ask her to like really brighten things up. I think I have <clears throat> talked about it on my... No, actually I didn't end up posting that blog, but like it's a misconception that you can't get your hair colored when you're pregnant. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, then absolutely don't do it. But I watched so many videos of like OBGYNs on <laughs> TikTok, YouTube, Googled a bunch of stuff, and it's like a myth that it will affect your baby. It's not enough toxins to that get into your blood system to affect your baby, and I don't take my bleach to my roots but yeah to each their own i know it's not for everybody and i'm sure some people will disagree and i was already thinking like i wonder if i walk in there big and pregnant if anyone's going to be like what is that girl doing getting her hair colored but i feel comfortable with it and i feel like i've done enough research where i think like it's safe and i want my hair to be brightened up and blonde before the baby shower morning guys happy thursday it is 11 20. i did not get out of bed until after like nine o'clock um <clears throat> i originally had a pilates class at 11 today but i canceled it last night because i just needed a little bit of a rest day um i was really sore my legs my butt my shoulders all sore so i just needed a little bit of a midweek break um, but I just made breakfast. I did, this is so good y'all, an everything bagel toasted with Kite Hill chive cream cheese, which is the star of the show, a little avocado and some eggs, salt and pepper. Still working on my coffee and then I have some organic blueberries on the side. So I'm gonna eat this. 
I was filming a little, as you guys can see on the tripod over there, I was filming, filming a little morning vlog for, I posted on TikTok, Instagram, and then I do like a shorter one minute version for YouTube Shorts. And those on YouTube Shorts are actually doing pretty well. So um, yeah, I get like, when I do these little morning vlogs, I haven't been doing them every single day like I used to. I really need to get back to it. But when I'm doing them consistently, um, I get like three platforms done in one little morning routine. But let's try this, I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm hmm. I also have this little dress on, the one that I got from Target, and it's very cute and very comfortable. And I think it was like 25 bucks. Dresses are my best friend right now. They, especially for the summer, like a sleeveless dress where you can like breathe from every angle is just great and then comfortable on the belly. It's like all I've been wearing. Um, after breakfast, though, I think I'm gonna probably do something with my hair and finish up getting ready a little bit. And then I really want to go um, to a couple of antique stores today. We need to start like finding little things for the townhouse. And we actually got some Amazon packages in today. I'll show you guys what we got. And we got our bassinet, our little um, by the bed bassinet. I won't take that out of the box because we need it in the box to be able to like transport it over to the new place. But they had a deal on Amazon Prime Day. So I grabbed that one and it has like a little storage thing on the bottom. You can pull up and down the side to like bring it closer to like right up to the bed. Um, and from what I saw, those are really a lot easier for nursing. I do plan on breastfeeding if all goes well. Um, and so people liked that you could like pull it down and just grab the baby versus like kind of having to get up and like reach into a bassinet to get them out. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Yeah, so I'm gonna have breakfast. Sorry, boobs, you guys. Um, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll pick up my camera when I actually start my day. I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that we've gotten in the mail so far from Amazon. We ordered a bunch of stuff for Amazon Prime Day and then I ordered like makeup and stuff um, that was not on a Prime Day deal but was cheaper than getting it at like Target or Ulta or whatever. So, okay, these shirts I really wanted um, the Skims boyfriend tee because they're like oversized and really long, which is the part about them that I like the most. Um, but they're like 44 bucks each. So of course I went to TikTok and if you just type in basically anything you're looking for or a dupe of any expensive thing that you're looking for, you can find it on there. So someone had found these um, Fisher's Finery men's crew neck t-shirts um a pack of three was like 35 bucks i think i ordered an extra large yeah they're this is like nice it's actually packaged like really well but yeah, i know i was like wait this t-shirt yeah i wasn't i was like did i order shoes it comes with a little thank you card but the person the person's video i found that compared these to skims was basically looking at like the material and what it's made of and it was almost dead on with the skims material so so a pack of three comes with gray white and black nice and stretchy this is such a good material i love shirts that feel like this i probably could have done a large but i thought with the belly i might need an extra large yeah i think the extra large is good oh <laughs> oh my god it's a dress it is a literal dress it comes all the way down to here okay so people were wearing these a lot as like sleeping shirts but i would wear these with like some little biker shorts underneath or something or like lounging that is very nice love that um definitely could have gotten a large but i'm glad that i got the extra large because it's just like baggy and comfy and yeah these are a really good dupe it's basically like a t-shirt dress okay next thing i got was this matching set i already have it in brown so it's like a little kind of linen set and it comes with some drawstring shorts this is a size large um super cute and very comfortable and it will definitely still fit me after the baby too it'll just be a little bit baggier which i actually like so i thought this pink color was really cute it was on a prime day deal 
I'm definitely gonna pack this for our trip to Texas for the baby shower. I think this will be super cute. I'm packing a lot of pink stuff for that trip because I just thought it'd be fun kind of themed. No, I just got a large. So it has these cute, oh, these are adorable. The color is great. Drawstring shorts um, and then a little button up top. And the thing I liked about these tops is that they go pretty long. They cover even like with a belly. So if you didn't have this big belly like going out, then it would really like be a long shirt. So this would be great. Even if you don't want to wear it with the shorts, you could wear it as like a little bathing suit cover. You could pair it with, I think like a white pair of pants would be so cute. Um, you could use this for multiple things, but really nice and comfortable. Oh, next are these little onesies. We did order some stuff for the baby. We ordered, like I told you guys, the bassinet. These, and I thought there was something else. Oh yeah. Um, I got a little wrap carrier. But these had really, really great reviews. I just got the newborn ones. There's multiple prints and colors, but y'all know me, I like the neutrals. So I just got the pack that has white, tan, and black. And yeah, they had really good reviews. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's see this. I feel like she's gonna be smaller than that. This looks <laughs> big, yeah. doesn't it? It's zero to three months. We may need to order a pack that is like newborn. I don't know if they had one, but so cute and I got these. I'm gonna get way more of these. I just wanted to grab at least one pack while they're on sale because of the zip. And they have a double zipper. So they zip from the top and the bottom. Every like baby recommendation video I've seen, people are like, make sure you get the double zip because it's really easy for when you're changing them. You can keep their upper body warm when you just change their the diaper really quickly. These are really cute. Like I said, they have multiple colors and stuff. All of this stuff that I'm showing you guys will be linked in the description box. Um, I'm not going to take this out of the box because I don't know that I'd be able to get it back in very comfortably, but um, comfortably um, organized. This is original baby wrap carrier for seven to 35 pounds. And I got this really pretty, um, Kind of like dark tan kind of color, but it's just one of those like stretchy wraps. Um, I also have the Ergo Baby Omni 360 or something, I don't know what it's called, like a more structured carrier on my list as well. But this one, I've seen so many moms using this and recommending it, so grab that. Next are these just little sandals. Every time we go to Texas, we usually end up like at the river or something or doing like some kind of outdoor, outdoor water activity. And every one of my family has like the Tevas or the Chacos or whatever. These are definitely just like an off brand type vibe, but they had really good reviews. <laughs> People also like go hiking and stuff in these kind of shoes. Um, and just for the summer, like little sandal, I think they're cute, you know, even just for like kind of styling with the casual summer outfit so grab some of those because those were like 50% off oh yes okay so I have showed you guys and I've worn it so many times I was wearing it yesterday the black dress from Amazon um, is just amazing the material is great like the quality is so good and it's really comfortable looks super cute on the bump but I'll definitely be able to wear these after I, oh my God, that smells amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. Wow. I, um, I think I ordered this one in a large because the black one still fits, but it's just like, I'm gonna keep growing. I have three more months, so I got one in tan and it's just really nice and stretchy, really good, like neutral color. And yeah, I just love, love, love these dresses. They're, they come in multiple colors and they're just so good. Like if you're gonna get one thing I'm showing you, get one of these dresses. Um, and then I got this facial cleanser. It was on a Prime Day deal and it says Rice Water Bright Light Facial Cleansing Oil. 
just something I wanted to try. You guys know I'm on a skincare kick right now, especially if it's like Korean or Japanese or like anything like that. They just know their skincare so well, so I wanted to give this a try. Random awesome. stuff. David got a smart plug. <laughs> that was like two dollars. I know. I'll tell that how cheap that was. Um, you could use it maybe for like the baby's room to be like just turn something on without having to go in there. Oh like, sure. Yeah. Like that. Um, the therm I had this thermometer, baby thermometer on my list. It was on sale, so I grabbed that. Um, oh, same brand as the baby carrier. They're just little swaddles. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at their like pretty pink colors. I don't oh. want to take him out because that's so cute. <laughs> little pink colors. <laughs> Gonna wrap her up tight. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it's so just little sleeping swaddles. Wanted to get those because they were on sale. Oh, so I had these too. Were wearing them, but oh yeah, just some sandies. Um, David, I guess, put this in the cart. Just smart because it was on sale. Snail mucin. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, we've both been using the snail mucin. I told you guys yesterday in the video that our skin has been looking so good. David's skin's been looking great. Um. And normally this is like 25 bucks. I so. think what I did was I started a subscription. To this? Like 50% off your first order for a subscription. And so you can just do that. And then a little hack, you can actually start another new, like you can just keep starting new subscriptions and then cancel it and then start. It's just like, <laughs> so we got David's always like, got a little price hack. That was like 12 bucks. Nice, yeah, $12. And the other one, we're not even halfway through it yet, so it does last like a good amount of time. And that's both of us using it twice a day. Um, what are these? Oh, okay, so I ordered another pair. I already have these in black and in tan, but they are the most comfortable kitten heel ever, 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 because these like will stretch out. So if you have like a wider foot, they're really comfortable. It's a little short heel. So I really wanted to get this brown print. So now I have the brown, the tan, and the black. Could not recommend these more. They're so good. Moving on to the box we just got. I ordered a bunch of makeup stuff, but I also ordered these um, nursing bras. I cannot really fit into um, my bras right now. So I'm only really wearing dresses and stuff where I don't, or like sports bras where I don't have to wear a bra because it's just so uncomfortable. And I figured I would just go ahead and start wearing um, the nursing bras. I saw a few videos of um, pregnant ladies just <laughs> saying like, go ahead and just get these nursing bras. They're comfortable and you're gonna need them anyway. So David just told me that I said, I've been wearing dresses and sports bras where I don't need a bra. <laughs> I've been wearing dresses where I don't need a bra or I've been wearing sports bras. Um, anyway, so these come in a pack of three they had very good reviews oh they're very soft that is nice so i went ahead and got a large based off the reviews okay so they are very soft very stretchy and then they have the little clip right here where you can breastfeed or pump or do whatever you need to do. So leave these fit. This would be so great if these are like actually comfortable because my boobs have literally tripled in size. And they had like a ton of good reviews, right? Yeah, a lot of good reviews. Okay. So I don't know how seamless this is gonna look under like a t-shirt, but whatever. I don't care. It's very uh, comfy. One of those new t-shirts you just had. Okay, so far, that feels really good. The thing with my other bras is like in this section right here, they are so constricting by the time I take them off. It's like all red and just like it hurts. It's like a relief to take them off. So this is nice and soft and stretchy. Yeah, it makes your outfit look better. I don't care if it shows through a little bit. I just, with these clips and the thicker bands, like I don't know how much that will show through. Oh, I mean, that's not bad. Like you can see the, yeah, I don't really care about under a white t-shirt being able to like see a bra. It's like not crazy, but it's it's not, not super bulky, the straps. I don't care at this point. I just need to be comfortable 
because everything else is uncomfortable. Um, next up is just all makeup stuff. There was, I've been watching a lot of TikTok videos of dupes for more expensive makeup and um, I just wanted to try out a few things. The, this is just those. <laughs> Did you just do a pounce? Yeah. Um, I really needed to try some of these uh, for like loose powder. I've been seeing everybody use these for a very long time. I am so behind on this, but I got a pack of like five of these little leg powder puffs. So next thing I got is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Drunk Elephant like tanning drops. Um, a lot of people will mix this with like their moisturizer or mix this with a light um, foundation or whatever just to like give you an extra glow. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. When I try this stuff out, I'll make sure to film it and let you guys know. Then I got the Maybelline 12 hour instant age rewind concealer. I got it in the pink shade based off of a video I saw. Her skin tone was like naturally really pale like mine. Um, and she said the pink one was great for the under, under eye, like it really brightened it up. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Then I just got an e.l.f. foundation and concealer brush. Got the NYX Lift and Snatch brow tint pin, which I'm really looking forward to trying. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and that's like 25 bucks, I think. So this one was around 12. This is about to die, but I'm almost done here. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Then I got the Wet n Wild Just uh, setting powder that had some good reviews and then this is supposed to be a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner um, but it's by Milani so a lot cheaper so I'm going to try that out as well and I have a few more things coming too so hope you guys enjoyed that long unboxing matching little ones so the reason i want to get those the big bowl i'm not totally sure what i'm going to do with yet but it is a nice like accent piece to put on top like a stack of books or something but the little ones um it's the same reason i got another crystal like ashtray type thing the other day is well actually i don't think i showed you guys the stuff i got the other day but i got another like crystal bowl, bowl. And they're really nice to have for like side tables, nightstands, um, like in the bathroom. So like when you have guests or whatever, it's a nice place to like put your jewelry or like little knickknack things. And then they look nice too. And then I just grabbed another candlestick, so. Success. All right, y'all, it is eight o'clock now. I have just been in the room laying down watching YouTube videos. And I am gonna make my vegan chicken alfredo. Um, we brought this Vitamix, and this will be the first time I've used it besides using the container to like fill up the filtered water thing. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but I have I some. Mm -mm, I've I'll not used it. Out. I have some cashews that have been soaking, and I went ahead and took this out of the freezer a little bit ago because. Um, I need to like cut it up in little pieces. So I needed it, to, needed it to be thawed a little bit. But I have made this sauce so many times on my channel. Um, I have also said multiple times, I have no measurements for it, but I would say this is about a cup of organic unsalted cashews, the raw ones. And then I add plant milk, just whatever we have. I think right now we have just some almond milk. And then I add veggie broth just to help blend up 
the um, cashews a little bit and then I'll add lemon juice, a lot of lemon juice, a lot of nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, garlic to taste. So sorry I don't have measurements for you. I need to figure that out at some point. So I accidentally made it a little bit too thin. So I just added a handful of the cashews. It's better if you soak them, but like in this case, you don't, you don't have to. So now it's a little bit thicker. You guys can see that. Hello guys, happy Friday. I did film a little bit this morning of me just like having coffee and getting up and all of that. Um, and then I got ready and I went to Pilates. It was actually a really great class. And then came home, had some food. And then I just got my nails refilled. So this time, if you guys can see, so pretty. I just did um, bubble bath by OPI again. But this time I had them add a little like of the chrome, like iridescent vibe. I've always wanted to try this, but it's like $10 extra. But it is about $10 cheaper to get my nails done here in Utah. This place I go to is called Jay's Nails. It's in Centerville, um, right off Main Street, I'm pretty sure. They, their prices are so good. Their work is so good. The salon is so nice and so clean and you can book appointments online. It's just like top tier. Their prices are great. So I was like, okay, well this is now the time to try this because I wanted to see um, if I liked this for my baby shower, um, which I think I do. I might end up just doing plain um, bubble bath depending on what dress I go with for my baby shower because I just ordered like three dresses just to pick some. Um, anyway, I love this. I think it's so good. So with a tip, it was 50 bucks, which is expensive for nails, but that is like what I was used to spending like every time I got my nails refilled in California. So anyway, I just parked at Target because I ordered makeup that I showed you guys um, from Amazon. I ordered the things that were cheapest on Amazon, but so the e.l.f. products I wanted to try, they either didn't have or they were like charging more because I think it was like an independent seller or something. It's not like by e.l.f. Um, I want to try the Halo Glow highlighter um, wand, the contour wand, and the blush wand. And I need a new eyelash curler and there was something else I wanted to try. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go into Target and grab those things right now.
Okay, I filmed a little bit on my phone, so you guys have already seen those clips at this point, but I ended up just getting the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush in the shade Berry Radiant, which is so pretty. They didn't have a highlighter shade that I want. They had like a liquid gold one and something else, but I like to go for more of like, actually like this, like a, because my skin's so light. Um, I like to go for more of like a pearly base. Um, so I didn't get that. And they didn't have a contour wand in my shade. They had a super, super dark one and a really light one. So I went over to the makeup revolution section and they had these because I really just wanted like a contour stick or something um, that's like creamy. I have cream contour and for a very long time I used a dark shade of e.l.f. concealer and I'll still use both of those things but having like a wand would be great especially for travel. Um, so this is a contour and highlight wand Looking forward to trying that, especially if the highlight is like light enough to work as a good concealer for me. Like what a great travel product. Um, then I got the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. So just like a super dark brown. I use a dark brown eyeshadow as my liner. So having something like this would be really nice. And then I grabbed this wet and wild it's a brow and liner duo brush and then lastly i got a wet and wild um, eyelash curler i originally had the elf one but the elf one was five bucks and this was 239 so and wet and wild is honestly a brand that you should not sleep on um also right next to wet and wild was essence if you guys haven't tried essence products they are so affordable and they are so good their lipsticks and their liners are so creamy and delicious and then right next to essence was jason Wu, which is another great product and both of those things i discovered when i did a collaboration with um the app called flip if you're not familiar with the flip app it's basically like tiktok format for makeup try on and reviews and you can buy the products through the app and the more you are like watching reviews, liking videos, whatever, you can gain points, I think it's points, within the app to spend on makeup, which is epic. I haven't used that app in a while and I, every time I remember it, I'm like, why don't I use that? Because it's like basically free money to watch makeup reviews. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna head back now. I have some um, leftover pasta from last night that I'm very much looking forward to. And then I have no idea what we're doing for the rest of the evening. Okay, back home, just had some leftover pasta and I went ahead and uploaded all the footage to my computer just to see how much I had because I know that like Amazon section of the video was pretty long and I realized we've been filming a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. Y'all already know I'm gonna start Another one, I have been pumping out the vlogs lately and I have been having so much fun with it. I am loving it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. Um, so I will pick up my camera probably tomorrow. Tomorrow we have to drop the girls at the vet and then in the afternoon we have an appointment to get my new ring appraised and um, see about getting it resized. And then I think we're gonna go to dinner in Salt Lake City um yeah so that's kind of the plan so i'll make sure to do all that tomorrow and i really want to try all that new makeup i just got so i'll probably do that in the next video but i hope you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow